Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here, and it's vlog time. It's been quite a little while since my last vlog, um, just due to packages taking a while to get here. And in this one I have quite a lot to cover. Um, my last vlog went up kind of late, although you didn't really know it, because my internet modem was dying, and so I had really bad internet problems, and videos would say they would take like 2,000 minutes to upload, so it weren't uploading. So that vlog was pretty old by the time it went up. I actually was only uploading it to see if something would upload and then just decided to let it stick since several of the things in that vlog had already gone up. But whatever. Everything's better now and reviews are going up. And this time, vlog actually has worked out so that the majority of the package I'm ex packages I'm expecting are going to go in this vlog. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot else to cover before I uh, open things and go over the schedule. So I got a package from Mandrake. I got a package from... Uh, fruit salad, I got a package from HLJ, and I got a package from Yoshiboshi on HJU. Uh, I'll just show that first. I opened it because it was in an envelope and it had my name all over it and stuff, and Andres, Andres, said that weird. From Yoshiboshi on HJU, just like, uh, Shuko and Shibobi, I got, uh, Gashpon Metal Set 4, minus the GEC medals, so thank you to him, uh, appreciate me, appreciate you giving me a good deal on these, and getting them to me so fast, I think they went airmail, so they got here really fast. So I'm excited to have more medals. Um, so I opened that already. Um, let's go ahead and open this first since it's on the top. This little box here is from HLJ. Hoodle. Thanks to my good buddy, Shuki, uh, for ordering these for me when they went up. Oh, you'll see what they are in a second. Um, HLJ, as of right now, is pretty much just used for emergency purposes. And this is a pseudo-emergency. So... Make sure it's in here. Let me cut over this plastic. So first off, we have we have a Terrac Android, which I why did I get from HLJ? Well, because Fruit Salad didn't put it up for like a week past his release date, and we were getting anxious. And then HLJ happened to put these up, so he was nice enough to order one for me while they were up, and they still are actually. And we have Candy Toy Metal Set Three, so even more metals, even though these are like plastic metals. Uh, let's just cut it open because I feel like looking at them. So in this set, ignoring the uh, core metals and stuff we already got in the cell ones, we got New Deno, um, Kuga V3, and then a double metal which is something. What is it? I forget already. Double metal which is... Oh, it's the 11 Rider Kick metal. Never mind. But so I got those. So thanks again to uh, Shuki, a.k.a. Brian, they're the same person. Out, uh, finally, revenge for outing my identity. Thanks to him, I got these from Hoodle. Now I'll throw the box over here in the trash. Next, we have this box from the Fruit Salad. Um, it's kind of big. I didn't expect it to be this big, I don't know why. Um, this is going to have some fig arts and some figmas and general fruit salad box propaganda and such. Oh, gosh. oh the salmon paper also. We have the salmon paper that's making its triumphant return. But I guess I'll just kind of sit here. Um, I'm going to put this down now because it's easier. So, what do we have in this box? Well, we have Figgy Arts, Kamen Rider O's, Got to Kiriba. I'm pretty excited to have him, but I've heard bad thing about his bad thing. Bad things about his joints. So we'll have to see how mine fares. And then we've got Figyarch Shinken Gold. I'm really excited to have him. He looks absolutely epic. And then coming with Shinken Gold is his Kuroko. So I got another one of those. And then we have Figma Common Rider Sting from Dragon Knight, who I hear is an absolute piece of bullshit that has asthma. Um, and then the badass that is Common Rider Strike, who was sort of not badass in personality, but at least Oja was. And so, yes, I too am all getting all the figmas still, because I have them all on pre-order, don't feel like canceling them. And in the way that Shuki and I's minds work, these figures represent Dragon Knight, and the figure arts are going to represent Ryuki. Yeah, we're fucked up. But, we're getting, I'm still getting them all, and I don't really feel like canceling, it, canceling any of them. And who knows how and when Bandai's going to release the uh, Ryuki stuff. I mean, they'll probably release, like, Ryuki, maybe Night, then forget about it, go get drunk, and, like, come out with Blade or something. They just never seem to finish anything. So, this last package is from the Mandarik Shop with a bunch of crossed-out writing, so I don't want you seeing where I'm from. 
Um, let's see. Where does this open? This is one of those fucked up mandrake boxes. So this order, well, I th only one person really knew about, other than me, because I ordered it. There's actually another package for mandrake that I was expecting to get here today. I was expecting this vlog to be these two mandrakes and maybe the fruit salad package. I didn't expect this other stuff to get here so quickly. But this package is from the Sawara store. Okay. So, oh my god, what did they do? They surgically taped this in like eight places. So let me get to my toys. God. Mandrake, I swear, they have like the weird, world's weirdest boxes. I don't know what's going on with them. I swear they watch my VLR just to laugh at us trying to open this. Another layer! What the fuck is wrong with these people? Okay. Oh, they stuffed everything in here pretty nicely. Okay. So, well, first thing, this is the main reason I ordered this, is the Landic Brothers set. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned this in a vlog, but for my birthday I got Gose Ground, the Seek, Skyik, and Mystic Brothers sets. And so this was the last one I needed, and they had it for a thousand yen. So, I'll take it out of the plastic later, I'm not going to bore you with that. So I picked this up. I did make my order over 5,000 yen, but I did pick some other stuff up while I was there. Uh, this, the Magi Lamp, which is... Magi Shine's weapon, or the Magi Lamp Blaster. Um, it was only 800 yen, and Hibiki Sans has never passed up a good deal, so I bought it. I don't really have any plans to review it right now. Maybe down the line at some point, or from a request or something, but right now there's just too much. And then I got these two babies here, which are um, two exclusive Sentai heroes from Magi Ranger. They're both red, uh, Magi, Magi Reds. Uh, one of them is like flame power and the ones like sparkly um, I'll show them off maybe in the next vlog but they're like not a huge difference but I like have to have all Sentai heroes and I saw these and they were pretty cheap and Kevin slash Jedimon I revealed your identity too um, starting to catch up on me on the Sentai heroes list so I had to get a one up on them so add these to the list Kevin go add them now monkey okay so I got these um, so, because I'm probably not going to add to this vlog just for a package of Mandrake stuff, what's in the other Mandrake box is actually over 5,000 yen, which is a Gose Great. Uh, thanks to Spider Vic for pointing it out to me. Uh, I really appreciate that because that was like the main piece of the Ghost Sager collection I needed. So, thank you to you, Spider Vic. Um, so, I got Gose Great, and then in that package is also SIC Kiwami Tamashi, uh, Kamen Rider Hibiki. Kurenai, uh, which is an exclusive and I've been wanting for a long time because Hibiki Heart. And it looks so cool. So that's going to be in the other box. Uh, likely not going to get unboxed. Um, but so, that's what's uh, um, right now. That's pretty much all the stuff that's coming to me uh, for uh, the foreseeable time. As for what's coming to me... Uh, fuck. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. As for what's going to be coming, is nothing is technically shipped yet. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to be purchasing an order from Shirtzor, so I'm getting some cool RR shirts. Um, the Ryoko, he's making some really, really awesome Sentai shirts over there. You need to go check it out. Um, but that's nothing for reviews. I'm going to be getting an order from Oki fairly soon. I just have to pay him. It's going to have figure out Cyclone Axle Extreme, uh, Cougar Rising Titan, uh, and the two Televi magazines with the uh, Aka Ranger key and the... Not the Shingen Blue key. The Gosei Red key. So that's that. Um... Galline comes out in a few days, but I'm actually just going to push that back to my Figmas at the end of the month just to save money on shipping, because I'm trying to save a little bit of money right now. But so, um, for reviews, I'm not exactly sure what order this stuff's going to go up in. It depends on what gets this written review done first, what gets edited first. But expect reviews for the two Fig Arts, the Figmas, the Candroid, and the two metal sets. Um, and then once I get my Gose uh, great... I'm going to film all the Ghost Age of Mecha reviews I have. I'm not going to do a week uh, like Shuki is. I'm probably just going to film them, and they'll be really good like placeholder reviews for when there's a gap between new stuff. Right now, there's rarely a gap. There's maybe like two days at most when there's not new stuff. But when there's a gap, you'll see Ghost Age of Mecha reviews. I have Ghost Age Great, The Four Brothers, Data's Hyper, and Ghost Age Ground, and Ghost Age Wonder. So you'll see all those reviews scattered somewhere in between the new stuff. I don't... Unless I drastically change my mind, which I don't think is going to happen, it's not going to be a week. So it's just going to kind of be a placeholder. Um, in other news, which I've meant to mention at the beginning of this vlog, since it's the title, 
I'm a deluxe hunter now. I'm officially the shit. I'm legit. I am deluxe. I'm a deluxe hunter because uh, I went to Target and I found some deluxe items that are the real deal. And Zero and Cypher told me I'm now a deluxe hunter, so I'm deluxe now. So you yourself might want to go out and find some deluxe stuff because that stuff is legit. Who knows? This can right, right here, this isn't legit. It's not deluxe. It's not legit at all. This stuff here, this isn't legit. It's not deluxe. I, nothing here's nothing here's legit. It's not, it's not deluxe unless it's. I'm just. I'm kind of sad about this haul now because none of it's legit. I mean, the only way you can get true street cred is to be deluxe. So, yeah. Um, but in regards to the deluxe stuff, um, follow me on Twitter and you can see some funny like tweets and campaigns like John Tui for Gose Night and Forever Pikmons and Daniel Tosh for First Male Pink Ranger, and you can see epic like deluxe hunting because of this giant like thing that the deluxe has become um, occasionally when I go out I'll take pictures of deluxe stuff I find so so that you know it's legit and it's cool to buy it so anyway uh, that's about it for this vlog I've rambled on long enough um, so look forward to more reviews and thank you oh one more thing thank you to all of those who contributed to superhero time we clocked in at over 8,000 I'm not sure the exact number but I can't remember it but 8,000 great job you guys really appreciate all your uh, efforts and thank you to everyone that supports RRR in general. We highly appreciate it. And thank you to those who support my channel also. I appreciate it. Um, and then seriously, I promise I'll go after this. One last thing I want to mention is for those of you that do listen to the podcast, we appreciate your feedback. So it would be great if you could leave comments on the individual episodes or just that's probably the best place to do it. Or just any general place you want to leave feedback because we really appreciate it because we want to know what you like that we want to keep doing and improve on and, and what you maybe don't like that we could change so we really need some feedback we uh, we already have some people that that um, give good feedback which we appreciate Kiefer in particular with his epic comments which we look forward to each week but so please uh, leave us your feedback so this time I really will shut up I promise um, so anyway until next time uh, check out the epic side of writersrangersandrambles.com for token news and the craziest and the crazy podcast in the craziest way possible I think that's how you say it I hope Shuki doesn't beat me. <laughs>